This question really, really wants you to do quadratic formula, but you can avoid it very easily here. And I'm not even gonna bother showing it to you because it's just so time consuming for no good reason. So what I would do here is, is what I tend to do when I'm asked for a solution uh, is just graph the equation. So in this case, it's a little annoying because you know it's, it's gonna ask for the solution in a weird way. I'm trying to get everything in here. Um, but if I graph the equation just as written, x squared minus two x minus nine equals zero, it's telling me the values of x. Basically, this graph is doing quadratic formula for me. And it's giving me some messy numbers, right? So the x-intercepts here, the, the solutions that I would find of this parabola are going to be uh, x equals 4.162 or x equals negative 2.162. So they're messy numbers, but it doesn't bother me because I, I have the ability to kind of deal with that. So <laughs> notice what they're asking. One solution to the given equation can be written as one plus radical k where k is a constant. What is the value of k? Well, they give me only four values, right? If this were a guess and check, slightly different story, right? Or if, sorry, if this was a student-produced response, then that'd be a slightly different story because then it would be much harder to guess and check. And maybe then we would need to do the uh, quadratic formula. I, I, maybe there's other ways to, to get around it. But um, for our purposes, we're just gonna do it the easy way. What we're looking for now is if I put one if I put a value from the answer choice in for that k, I should get either 4.162 or negative 2.162. And I can already tell it's going to be the top one. And that's just because it's positive, right? So uh, 1 plus radical k, the radical k always has to be positive. So this is, this is the 4.162. It needs to be a positive number. Uh, so let's just go down the line, right? So um, what I'm going to do here, and try to keep everything on the screen without messing up. It's going to one plus radical eight. Now, I could use the Desmos calculator to do one plus radical eight, but this is actually why I like having a secondary calculator for my digital SAT, is let me do all the graphing on the more complicated Desmos calculator, but let me do some simple arithmetic on here. So I'm just gonna do one plus second radical, oops, wrong button, one plus radical eight, and that is not the right number, that is, I'm gonna go this direction, 3.83. So not what I need, so that's that's wrong. So let's just go down the line, one plus radical 10. Okay, so one plus radical 10 is 4.162. So that looks good. I'm gonna pick it. Now, you don't need to do the others because we kind of guessed and checked and found the exact right answer. Yeah, there's extra decimals here and the, um, the Desmos is cutting them off, but that's okay, it, it's not gonna be anything else. I mean, you can keep going. One plus radical 20 is gonna be much, much bigger. Um, so we don't need to try the others and there's really no other trap here. Um, so this is the benefit of having this Desmos calculator is it's technically not a algebra solver, but because of the graphs, it kind of is. And the graphs, these vertical lines are showing us the values of x that work. So it's doing all those back, uh, background calculations. And the SAT is trying its best here to kind of confuse you uh, and make the answer choices a little harder to use. But if we're clever, we can still kind of work backwards with them. We just need to pay attention to the fact that it's this one plus radical k and that the answer choices are the values of k. So we just need to kind of work it in. And then it's basically just enter into the calculator and let the decimals just kind of appear. So I would not be doing any sort of complicated quadratic formula here. It is not worth your time. This is absolutely a case where the calculator saves us a lot of work.